Wellness. My name is Nikki. I'm here to do another prenatal and postnatal class for you today. Um, I'm really excited to be moving on my mat. I've been doing this every day since we've been in quarantine. Um, I've been in quarantine a little bit longer, I think, than some of everybody else in Charleston, um, just for the sheer fact that studios decided to close last Monday. So um, I've been kind of at home and helping out where I need to be if I am out, but otherwise I'm just here. So I'm really excited to be moving with you today and we start hosting classes tomorrow um, on Thursday that are Zoom related. So you can follow um, every Thursday and every Saturday from here on out until things kind of go back to normal. Um, I'll be hosting a Zoom class um, or teaching a Zoom class that Revive is hosting. So I really encourage you to wherever you are in the United States or the world, um, log on to my body and sign up for the class and you'll get the Zoom link and I'll be teaching you from uh, my laptop and from my iPad. So I want you to start in a seat where you're very comfortable. Babies can be next to you in a carrier or on your mat. Young kids can be on their own mat or on your mat. Um, they may not ask, <laughs> they may just join us. Um, that's okay, that's allowed. Be exactly where you are, wherever role you're playing, wherever you are in your home, wherever you are in your body, in your mind, in your heart. Just be here now and don't touch any of it. Just invite it all in. We're going to do yoga around it today. So go ahead and close your eyes. Take a deep breath in. Sigh the breath out. A deep breath in. Sigh the breath out. And then open your eyes wide, reach all the way up. Stretch up tall through your rib cage, drop your right hand down, shift over to the side. Switch. Right hand down again. One big inhale to lengthen your ribs from your hips. And then switch to the left. Look up. And take your hands in front of you and then go post your arms out to the side. And give yourself resistance. Lift up. Breathe out. Pull down. Reach up. Inhale. Exhale. Pull down. Good, you've got five, four, three, two, last one, reach up, this time bring your arms in front of you, and then cross your left over right, and give yourself a hug, walk your fingers on the outside of your shoulders, draw your shoulders forward, you can give yourself a little nudge and twist here, if that feels good, you can drop your head, and then roll your shoulders up, Release your arms into your ears. And then drop them forward, go the other way. Good, reach your arms up, breathe in. Again, bring them in front of you, this time right over left. Give yourself that same hug, so you want to protract the shoulders down and forward to get the stretch through the upper back. You can give yourself that little rock twist if that feels good. Again, tuck your chin to your chest. And then come all the way back up, go post your arms again. And we're going to do another set of 10, 9, 8, 7. Breathe in as you reach up. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Stay right here, little pulses down. Big breath in and out. You want to keep lifting up and swinging up as tall as you can. You can squeeze through your pelvic floor here. Everywhere in the body that's here. If you're pregnant currently, hug baby close. Keep that little pulse in your arms. For three, two, one. Take eagle arms, right arm underneath, squeeze yourself, and then pull your shoulders forward, drop your head down. Lift your arms up, breathe in, and then crunch down and forward. Good. Reach up, crunch. Reach up, crunch down. Smooth out the movement. Reach up, crunch down. Open all the way back up, little pulses. Ten, nine, eight. Smooth and steady breath. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Left arm underneath. Eagle arms. Darudasana. Crunch down. Smooth out the movement.
We've got two more. Lift up, come down, and then reach up and reach open out to the side. Drop your fingertips, roll your shoulders up and back. Close your eyes for a moment. Take a big breath in. Big sigh out. Go ahead and remove whatever it is that you're sitting on, if you're sitting on something. And then bring your body into a tabletop position. So if you're pregnant right now, the effort is usually here. See if you can draw baby up and in so you can tuck and find a way along straight spine. Also make sure there's a lot of length between your shoulders and your hips here in this posture. Tuck your toes for support and then put your hands back towards your knees and then lean back. In the back of your forearm, a stretch. Take a big breath in. Again, notice where the belly is. If you're already right here, see if you can flatten and squeeze and push away with your hands into the mat. Put your hands back, forward, and one at a time start to rock forward and back. Forward and back. Hugging your core the whole time. So this is a core exercise. Let there be softness in your elbows. They want to bend towards the back of you. We're not going into full chaturanga yet. You just find the sway, seeing if you can keep your core engaged the whole time with your breath. Again, smooth the motion out. Let things be tidy in your body. And then add in the chaturanga if that's calling you. Just bend the elbows halfway until your chest comes in line with the rest of your torso. So watch me in the video. I'm in line shoulder to hip. And then press back up and lean all the way back. Good, lean down. Toes can stay on the mat. They can also pop up if that feels more comfortable for your body. So it's a little bit of a teeter totter. You've got three. And two, breathe out. Press back up, inhale. Exhale, lean back. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, push down. I think this is our last one. So go ahead and shift forward and down and then find a child's pose. Knees a little wider than you were used to. Drop your head down. Again, as always, my prenatal mamas, if you need to make space for baby and you need to let this be less of an inversion, you can bring your face and head to a bolster. You can also tuck it underneath your chest if that's a better option. You can always find modifications, mama. You don't always have to do what the teacher's saying. So remember to modify your practice as best that you need to for your body. Take a few more breaths here in your child's pose. Big ujjayi breath in and out. And then come back, shift forward to your tabletop. This time find forearms on the mat. Sway your hips side to side. So now you're opening up through the obliques. So you want to squeeze using the muscle wall of the obliques. So this little cinch area you want to pulse in and then expand out. Pulse in and expand out. Good. And see where you can feel this in your hips. If you need to let your knees go wider on the mat, you can. You can untuck the toes or tuck them for support. Three, two, one. Go ahead and find your mama bear crouch with forearms down. Knees are bent, hips are high. So instead of leaning forward, you're back. Good, and see if you can tilt your tailbone up into a stab of hugging belly close, baby close. And little pulse down. If this isn't really doing anything for you, you can also squeeze through the hamstring and the oblique, or the glute muscle, sorry, and do little kicks. You're here for 10 big breaths. So the inversion on your head isn't too much for you. If it is too much for you, you can always come back down to the modifications. Here, kicking the foot up into the ceiling, or you can come here to the tabletop and hit yourself as well. Find what's working for you and baby today. Very slowly start to walk your feet all the way in, wherever you are, come off of your forearms, find the lasana. Good, so I'm gonna face towards you guys for this. You can turn to the side of your mat if that feels good. We're gonna do our little rock and sway. So if you're pregnant right now, hug baby close. If you are postpartum, you wanna hug your pelvic floor up into your body and hug those muscle walls of your abdomen into yourself and rock side to side. So you're just opening up through the hips, if you are prenatal, <laughs> squeeze your knees out. If you're postpartum, see if you can kind of engage the legs in towards one another. So there's a lot of stretch and strength happening in the inner thigh right now. Really good. 
and then drop all the way down onto both heels. You can adjust your distance of your feet to find that. Drop your right hand down, lift your right, left arm up. Big breath in, pull your chest forward, look up at your lifted hand, and then switch. Left hand down, right arm up. Biggest inhale, exhale, look up. One more like that to each side. Drop your right hand, look all the way up to your left. Left hand down, breathe in, reach up. Plant your hands on the mat, walk your feet into a wide leg forward fold. Halfway lift your spine and then bow all the way down. You're facing the side of your mat, feet can come off of your mat if you're here. And start to sway side to side, waking up your hamstrings. A really great way for me to do this is to wake up my toes, let them be light and loose. And then to bring my hips in line with my ankles. So don't let the hips be all the way back here. That might feel really good, but see if you can shift the hips forward and drop the body down. Shake your head out. Yes and no in circles. Biggest breath in, halfway lift, tuck baby close to you. Bow down, exhale. Halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, bow down. Last time, breathe in. Come into a downward facing dog, plant your hands on the mat, walk your feet back onto your mat and behind you. Come up high to your tippy toes, breathe in, cross your hips up and back, melt them down. Let your shoulders be in line with your hips above you. Reach up with your heels, melt your heels down. Ha. Breathe in, lift up, breathe out and down. This time roll forward, plank pose, lift all the way up, shift yourself forward, shift yourself up and back. That's the movement, just right there. Nice and simple. Reaching all the way up and back. Mamas, if you're feeling really strong and you want to add a chaturanga here, you can. You can also just drop to your knees and do the same push-up from before. You can also just stay right here, rocking from plank to down dog. None of these options feel really good to you. You can shift back and forth again. Find the rhythm that your body needs today. It's different every single day. Especially when you have a growing baby inside of you. Give yourself permission to have a different body, a different experience. Find a stillness down dog for three big breaths in and out. Breathe in, breathe out. Good, last time, inhale. Side the breath all the way out. Lift your left leg up into the ceiling, three-legged dog. Bend your knee and open your hip. Really rotate open through your left hip and then pull your knee up into the sky, away from your left shoulder. Press down with both hands as firmly as you can. And then look back at your right big toe. Take a full breath in. Side the breath out. Full breath in. Side the breath out. Lift your leg, breathe in. Step forward, low runner's lunge. Bring blocks or those water bottles into play if you're using something from home. And see if you can, if your hips are way up here, see if you can drop them in line. So you're a nice long diagonal from your heels to the crown of your head. Take your rocks. Stretch out that calf muscle. Find lightness in the front toes. You don't want them gripping the mat. You want them to be loose, playful. Full of breath in your lungs and in all the cells of your body. Good, one more rock forward, stay here. Left hand goes up, right hand goes down. So right hand down, baby belly button to the center and left hand twists. Good, come all the way back down, find Skandasana at the side of your mat. So heel is planted on your left leg. Right toes go up into the sky. Walk your fingertips, you can also be on top of blocks here or your water bottles, anything that's it from home. Bring them really, really close to your body so you can press down and then flex through the right toes as much as you can. Good. Switch sides. Walk yourself all the way over. Give yourself the same amount of breath and the same amount of stretch. Little bounces if that feels good, little rocks. Find what feels good in yoni in your body. Walk all the way back over with blocks or fingers. And then come into star pose, reach all the way up. 
Goddess pose, reach all the way down. Star pose, breathe in. Goddess pose, breathe out. Breathe in, reach up. Breathe down. Stay here, go post your arms, little pulses down. So instead of the pulse that we had before, it's gonna be a squeeze. Good, squeeze. So it's nice and smooth. See if you can turn on your lats. Drop your shoulders away from your ears if you're up here reaching so you can relax. Sink a little lower. Lightness and playfulness in the toes. Good. Straight arms, straight legs. Find skandhasana at the back of your mat. And then skandhasana on the other side. Come into your low lunge on this side and start to take your rocks forward and back. Stretch out your other calf muscle. Again, so if you want to make more space for baby here, you just walk the right foot out to the side a little more, but the toe and the knee are still pointing directly forward at a 12 o'clock position. Baby and Bella button are pointing down at the mat, so the knee and the belly are making a 90 degree angle. Shift forward one time, place the left hand down, reach up with the right hand, twist. Squeeze through your glutes here, so you want to be active in your legs as you reach up to the ceiling. Come back to your skandhasana, walk into it on this side. And then star pose, stand all the way up. Goddess, sink all the way low. Open up your arms, stay in your goddess. We're gonna do little arm circles for three, two, and then reach up with just the arms. Pull them down to center, Andrana Mudra, press out. Reach up, sink them low, press them out. Lift up last time. Sink them low, bow forward, wide-legged forward fold. Halfway lengthen your spine. Drop your right hand down, twist your left arm up. Switch sides, left hand down, right arm up. Really good. Bend into your knees, bring your elbows to your knees so you're in a supported goddess pose. This should feel kind of relieving, so start to shake side to side just a little bit. Good. And then start to flip through your hands. My mom is here in class and you know where we're going. Start to bring your forearms off of your knees so you can come into this little sway squat. This shouldn't be a lot of work. It should be playful and loose and light. And keep flicking your fingers as if you've got water on your fingers. What this does is start to cleanse your lymphatic system, but it's really important that you breathe ujjayi the whole time while you're doing it. So don't follow my example of talking while I'm practicing. Not always the best practice. See if you can increase your inhale and your exhale, and then start to walk your feet underneath your body and bring your toes forward at a 12 o'clock position in front of you. And then when you've got your feet underneath you, little tiny bounces on your heels. So then it starts to become a plop, 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 plop. Good. And then shake the arms out to the side, up to the ceiling, out in front of you and then shake out the whole body. Good, right leg out, left arm. Right leg, left arm. You know what I'm saying, both sides. <laughs> Come all the way back to center and then we're gonna start to move into a flow. So straight arms, straight legs. And then goddess, really loose goddess here. It's a little bit of a bounce. Double bounce, Whew. inhale. Double bounce, good, reach up. Make it smooth. Reach up, bounce, bounce, sweep. Good, bounce, bounce, sweep. Warrior two to the left side of your mat. Sweep back, peaceful warrior. To your side angle. Peaceful, side angle. Peaceful warrior to warrior two. Straight arms, straight legs. Warrior two, flow all the way low. Lengthen on your inhale. Sink into warrior two, exhale. Breathe in, breathe out. Good, two more on this side. Warrior two, side angle, stay here. You're invited to bring a block underneath your front hand if that feels more comfortable, mamas. You can also look up at your lifted hand or you can bring it behind you and look forward or down. Then find what's working through your body. Only you know, trust your intuition. It's not a cop out to take the shoulder stretch out of this. It's not a cop out 
to bring a block underneath your hand. It's you finding your capacity today. And it's different every day. It's allowed to be different every day. Take a few more breaths right here. Press into the strength of your legs. Hug baby close as much as you can. Back to your warrior two. Straight arms, straight legs. Back to your goddess bounce. Breathe in. Bounce, bounce, breathe in. Good, bounce, bounce, breathe in. Bounce, bounce. Last two. Sweep down, lift up. Sweep down, lift up, warrior two to the right side. Peaceful warrior, and then flow through this side angle. Find both postures to their max, and then switch to the next one. Two more. Sweep up. And then peaceful warrior. Come back to your warrior two. Sink low. Breathe in. Straight arms, straight legs. Stretch open and out. Sink low. Good. Reach up. Sink low. Reach up. Sink low. Lift. Breathe in. Exhale. Two more. Be squeezing through this quad all the way into your bones. Skin the muscle to bone. Sink low, side angle, stay right here. And again, choose what's working for your body. This is always a really comfortable position for me, especially since my back accident two years ago, one year ago, whenever that was. I need the support of my underarm and sometimes it feels really good to reach for my right hip flexor behind me that keeps my chest open. So again, taking modifications does not make the posture easier, mamas. Just makes it accessible. It makes it applicable to today. What do you actually need? You're allowed to take it. Take one more big breath here. Sink lower, give yourself to the posture, don't resist. Warrior two, straight arms, straight legs. Goddess stance, bounce. Reach up, goddess. Good, lift, goddess. Lift, goddess. Last time, lift up. This time, come back to your little squeeze. Lift, just the arms, squeeze in. The rock helps distract me. That is the only reason I always do it. It's the only reason you guys always see me rock. It's allowed. It is a distractor and I'm owning that. What's distracting for you? What helps you stay in? Because the goal is stillness, right? The goal is being able to breathe in, breathe out, and stay steady. Stira, supa, strength and stillness. And the distraction helps me get there. I'll be still in the goddess pose in five years. Like the goal isn't to get it all right in today's yoga practice or today's schedule with your kids or today's relationship with your husband. The goal is to live well for a long time, all the days of your life. Keep breathing in, squeezing down, straight arms, straight legs. Warrior one to the left. Pivot all the way into a high lunge shape. And then step forward to chair pose. Good. And find the little tiny pulse all the way back and down to this 45 degree angle. Awesome, then lift up your right leg. Step down into chair pose, sink it really low. So you're in a full squat, left leg lifts, and then sink all the way down, low squat. Lift with your right, sink it down, good. Lift up left, sink it down. Lift up with your right leg, this time cross it behind you, tap your toes down, and then kick yourself in the butt, tap and kick, and tap, and kick. So it's a really lightweight tap. Your foot has no weight back here. You're balancing. You can hold on to baby if that feels good. You can also hold on to something that's helping you support yourself. Engage your core, engage through your glutes. Good, squeeze in. This time, right knee into your chest, reach up. Kick it behind you for warrior three. Flex through your back toes. Step into warrior two. Peaceful warrior, triangle pose, tilt forward, and then find a rock all the way up to reverse triangle into trikonasana forward. Good, so your core is really doing a ton of work here. You want it to roll all the way down, squeeze in, and then squeeze up as you lift and reach. So the triangle is beginning to be a triangle with your hands. So you don't have to go all the way back if that doesn't feel good on your body. You can reach up here and here. You don't have to go all the way forward. It just depends on where you want your chest to be, mamas. Really good. 
Last time, peaceful triangle. This time, come back into your warrior two. High lunge, rotate onto the ball of that right foot, lift up. Back to that chair pose, sink down. Right leg in, sit into a figure four posture. So I'm gonna face you for just a moment. Right knee comes up, and then cross your right ankle over your left knee. So your sits bones are still back in that diagonal. And you can hold on to yourself here if that feels good. You should be feeling all of this in this abductor back here. Flex through your left toes, flex through your right toes. Take a big breath in, big breath out, sink a little lower. And then come into eagle legs. If your pregnant belly is not letting you be here, you can be in your figure four. Take your eagle legs and right arm under, right left arm over. Or you can take your hug. Squeeze yourself as tight as you can, no matter where you are. For three, two, one. Squat all the way down, lift all the way up, mountain pose. And then bow forward, exhale. Step back into a downward facing dog. Really good work, mamas. Biggest breath in, biggest sigh out. Good. One more like that, inhale and exhale. Really good place to take a child's pose or a water break if you're needing it. Otherwise, we're gonna make that other side even. The same movements here in a moment. So walk your feet halfway up of your mat and then flip all the way back to where your down dog is in the other direction. That's really only necessary so I can do the leg with you guys on your side. So if you want to stay at the front of your mat, you can. Go ahead and bring up high to your toes and melt your heels down. High to your toes, melt your heels down. Good, high to your toes. Melt your heels down, lift your right leg up into the sky. Bend and open your hips, squeeze your heel to your seat. Really good. Keep this open yawn of your hips with pushing into your hands and with your breath. One more inhale, straighten your leg, exhale, step all the way through. This time come into your warrior two right away. And then pivot into your high lunge, stretch all the way up. So you want length from your hips to your ribs, through your arms, to your elbows and fingers. And then take lower your knee. Step forward into your chair pose right here, left leg comes up first, draw up. Hands can open if that feels good, press back down. Chair pose, lift right leg. Chair pose, lift your left leg. And then you know where to go from here, back and forth, side to side. Keep finding a low squat so your glutes are parallel to the mat as much as possible. Nice. Two more, right knee lifts. This time with the left knee up, come into that chair pose squat, so lean all the way back. Your hands can be your hips or the front of your knee and ankle. Keep your feet flexed. Keep the pressure off of your right knee too. By not leaning forward, you wanna lean it back. So see how my leg is a 90 degree angle, right into the ground. It's like a pole that you're sitting on, perched on. Good, take a few more breaths here. And then eagle pose, left leg over, if that's accessible. Hug belly in, left arm underneath, squeeze. You wanna squeeze all of the cells together all of your limbs, and just breathe. Breathe away the stress, breathe away the worry. See what you're in control of again. Notice your balance. Notice what you're being able to do and what's serving you. Unravel yourself, lift that left knee up. Come into a warrior three, kick your heel behind you. Warrior one, step up to warrior two. Peaceful triangle, reach back this first time and then tilt forward triangle pose. Hand can come to the instep of your leg or your leg if that feels better for you. Reach up and same options apply here. You can either reach forward to get a long body stretch or you can reach back either up or all the way back to get a long body stretch from here. It's your choice. Reaching directly up again feels better on my spine ever since my accident. But that's gonna adjust with time. When it first happened, I couldn't do any of this. I could just stay and try and pose statically. So find, again, what's working today? It is allowed to be different than yesterday. It will probably be different tomorrow. That's a good thing. That's how we know that we're alive. When things change, when they're not the same, we know that they're not an illusion. 
Keep reaching up. Keep reaching up. Keep breathing in and breathing out. Reach all the way back, peaceful triangle, warrior two. Come back to that high lunge, pivot through your left foot. Step into your chair pose, find your little squat down. Squat, squat, lightness in your toes. Again, now your knees are back as well, so you're like a pull all the way down with both shins. Good. Last time, push down, lift up, Tadasana, reach into the ceiling. Bring your hands to your heart center. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. You're gonna move into balancing. So if you want to start with your right leg up and your left leg down, grab your ankle, hold on to something that's gonna help support you and stay right here in the quad stretch, this is great. If you wanna flip your grip so that the inside of your hand is on the inside of your foot, you can and you can bend your knee and come into dancer's pose, not on Drasana. What you don't want to do is open your body to the back. You want to keep your hips rolled forward and kick your toes up. So the bend is coming from your upper back. Really good. It's not cheating to hold on to something, you guys. Just find where your strength of your upper leg can draw up and in. Hug baby close and tilt forward. This should feel delicious on that right hip. Lock the breath, mamas. And then very gently come back to chair pose. Reach up mountain. Hands to your heart, do the other side. Again, this counts, you can stay right here in the quad stretch, hold on to something that's gonna help you balance. And then go ahead and tilt forward, and again, don't open up towards me. Keep your hips rolled down and kick upward. Okay, so you're making like a slingshot shape. A big capital letter Y with your body. Really good. Just breathe. Pull up through the muscles of your standing legs, squeeze in, skin to muscle to bone. Good, and release without slingshotting your legs. Step into your chair. Straight arms, straight legs. And then we're gonna take those same steps that we did the other day, so open to the goddess. And then close, mountain pose. Open into goddess. Close, mountain. Good, open up, goddess pose. Mountain pose, with your hands at your heart, so you're staying right here. We're starting to ground ourselves on purpose. Press your hands together, the way you press your feet into the mat. Nice. Press down, press together. One more, land right here at the top edge of your mat. Half, lift up your hands, bow down, exhale. Halfway lift your spine, tuck baby up and in. Plant your hands, step back to downward facing dog. And then find a child's pose, knees wide, toes touch, head down. Be in your breath. Take a few moments to either breathe right here in your child's pose to take a sip of water, to towel off if you're sweaty. I'm sweaty today. That could just be because I've got the door shut and the candles on. Um, you've got a few breaths just to take what you need. Okay, go ahead and lift up and Keep your legs in front of you so that you're in a seated position. Go ahead and lift the fleshy bits of your body up and not underneath you. Wiggle your hips all the way down. Pull your hands up above your head. Come back to the same seesaw shape that we did when we started class. So the goal is to not let your feet fall with you. You want to keep them upright. Really good. You also want to do is find length from your shoulders. So if your shoulders are up in your ears, drop them down and reach up and over. Really good. Hug your knees into your chest and then draw length up into your chest. If you need to make room for baby, just spread your knees. Left through your feet. And then very gently, tilt all the way forward so your chest is high. Let your go with your right hand. And then switch, let go with your left hand. And you know where we're going with this, right hand. And then left hand. And if you're feeling strong and capable, you can let go of both hands. If you're like 38 weeks pregnant, mama, you do not have to let go of both hands. You can hold on and be in the core work right here. I'm going to show you guys what this looks like from the side. So keep holding on to your knees and draw upright as much as you can. So this is lifted, this is straight, feet are flexed. That's what helps you keep the core active. Nice. Both hands are up and open, or you're alternating, or you're holding on. Choose what's best for you, mama. Take three, two, 
One, really good, Supta Baddha Konasana. Actually, find folded Baddha Konasana first, knees wide, feet together, round your body over your toes. Snuggle your hips into the mat, take a full breath in, ha, full breath out. Good, take one more like that, breathe in. One more just for good measure, mama. Biggest breath in. Drop your head towards your toes. And behind Janu Shoshasana, extend your left leg out. And if you've got something today to put underneath your heel, it can be a block or a blanket. You're just going to increase the height of your heel just a little bit. You want to put it right underneath and then flex your left toes into the ceiling. Draw your hands up and then bow all the way over your left leg. So your left hand can come right on top of your left shin. And then you want to push your chest open and up. Reach over your leg. Good. Reach all the way up. Press your heel down into whatever supporting it. Take stargazer. Reach all the way up and back. So it's kind of exactly like triangle pose or like a side angle. Your hand is just rotated all the way back so you can press your hip flexors open. Hug baby close and then lift up. Look back at your lifted hand. And then sit all the way back down. Bring your left leg in front of you. You're invited to use a blanket or something to, or a pillow to put it on top. We're going to take that reverse handshake with our foot. So wedge all of your fingers into the middle of your toes. It's like you're giving yourself a handshake with your foot. And then start to squeeze either the fingers together side by side and between your toes and then the toes into your fingers. So there's a lot of tension and squishiness, pain. Breathe through all of it. It's not bad pain. It's just uncomfortable pain. Kind of like labor. Pretty consistent, uncomfortable pain. And it's something that you can get through with your breath. You know, it starts to become more comfortable the more often you do it. And what you're preparing for is really exciting and important. You planned for it. Maybe you didn't plan for it. <laughs> you're planning for it now. See if you can just be in the experience. If you're postpartum, how old are your babies? Be in the noticing of their ages, of their growth, of your growth, of your levels of exhaustion. Love yourself. You're doing great. This is really, really hard work. Being pregnant, being a mother, and you're doing a great job. And you can keep doing what you're doing. Give yourself a few more squeezes here. And then release and feel the release in your toes. Roll out your ankle both directions for a moment. Wiggle through your feet and give your toes their own personal squeeze. And then kick your right leg out, Jagu Shoshasana. Really good. Take that same prop, whatever it was, that you put under your left heel, put it underneath your right. Reach all the way up and drape your body over your right leg. Give yourself three big breaths here. Keep pushing your chest up and open and rounding into the ceiling. You can also bring your hand on top of baby. If your arms are tired, you can just rest here. Good. Sweep all the way up and over. Press into your left hand, left knee, right heel. Reach up, stargazer. And again, it's a little different. You're not straight up and down right here. You're all the way back. And then press forward. Good, sweep all the way down. Bring that blanket or pillow underneath your left leg, or sorry, your right leg, which is in front of you now, and find that reverse handshake on this side. Little squeezes back and forth. You know what to do. You know what feels good. And it's the relative good, right? Like it's the, ooh, that's good for me kind of feeling. <laughs> Give yourself breath. Give yourself grace. This is not comfortable for most people. I love it, but I have band band feet, mamas. So find where you can work with your toes, with the toes that God gave you. They're yours on purpose, just like your kids. They're yours on purpose. You're their mama on purpose. Keep working your toes. Try a few more breaths. And then release 
Finger turn the toes, draw the foot up, roll it out both directions. You can hold on so you don't have to fall all the way back. Squeeze your toes, give them a little bit of grace and a little bit of movement. And then come into half pigeon with your left leg forward. So you're gonna swing your right leg back. If you wanna start kind of propped up, I'm gonna show you a couple of options today. You can always bring a blanket in between your hips so you can kind of lay down on top of that. And then bring a block or a bolster or a blanket underneath you like this. You can also always keep your knee rotated down, but on top of something so that your leg has a little more height. If you're going to do that tuck through the back toes, so you can be here as well. Find what feels best. What you don't want to do in this posture, mamas, is let anything roll open. That's going to hurt or recommend um, compromise the left knee. So keep everything rolled directly down to the mat. And then press back. Good. This is a great space to either do something deliberate with your hands to teach yourself stillness or to make funny faces at your older kids if they're practicing with you. But everybody keep breathing no matter what you're choosing. All of it's yoga with breath. The moment it stops being yoga is when you start to hold the breath. There are really no rules when it comes to your mat, your home, your heartbeat, if you're breathing, if you're living, you're doing something right. Give yourself permission to live your life the way you're living it right now. You're doing a good job. And it's all going to get easier from here. Give yourself a few more breaths in this hip posture. Press all the way up. You can actually leave the props where you are and go ahead and swing around to the other side. Right leg forward, half pigeon pose. Again, if you want to invite the props in today, you can put the blanket underneath your body and then the block underneath your knee. Maybe another block underneath your forearms. Kick back, walk forward, and roll down. Good. Keep the top foot flexed as well. It keeps the right knee safe. Five more breaths, wherever you are. Good, and then start to press all the way up. Bring everything out from underneath you. Find straddles pose. If you want to bring the blanket or a pillow underneath your sits bones, you can. And find to where your sit bones are fully on the blanket and then tilt them forward just a little bit. So you're almost hiding the blanket underneath you, but it's lifting up the tailbone and kind of the squishy part of your tushy back. Good. And then bring your heels as wide as they will go. Lift your arms all the way up. Interlace your hands actually and press your palms away. Take little tiny lateral stretches here. And the way you find the most of this stretch is to press the opposite hip down into the mat as much as you can as you reach side to side. So reach left, press down right, reach right, press down left. Good, you have a few more of these. See if you can smooth out the movement and then release your hands, start to drape. Find that same seesaw. It's been consistent through class today. Because this is the pendulum of our lives, right? The only thing we can trust to stay consistent is God. Everything else is designed to change. Change is good. Change brings joy. It brings mourning. It brings rebirth. It brings birth. Something brand new. It's okay to be wherever you are with the tears, with the smiles, with the laughter that you're like, I don't know if this is insanity laughter or if it's good laughter. Don't judge any of it, just experience it with your breath. That's how you do yoga all the time. 
and then very gently start to drop down to your left forearm and then walk your right forearm in front of you. So if this is a lot on your body and you're like, nope, there's no way, put something underneath you. You can stack one block, two blocks, three blocks. Another great way to do this is block stacked and then a pillow or something in front of you. Fifth, so you can be completely upright. If you've got a baby in your belly right now, this is a great option because you have space for baby. Stay right here and breathe. So you have this whole song in a straddles pose. Keep giving your body weight very slowly to the bolster as much as you can. Start to do a body scan from the tips of your toes down into your heels. See if you can release there. And release the top of your shins into your calves. Huh? And then top of your thighs into your hamstring. Blah, into the mat. Breathe out. The middle of your pelvic bone and your hips. Take a full breath in right there. Drop it into the mat. And keep letting your upper body breathe into your sides, your shoulders drop down. Notice your forearms. See if you can make them heavier. If your hands are stacked one on top of the other. Blissful heaviness. That's what you want to feel. Total release. Chin can be up. Or forehead can be down on your hands as well. Be in your breath. We're almost done, Mama. got one ear to the mat, you can rotate sides and stretch out both sides of your neck. Keep making your body heavy on purpose. And start to bring your thoughts into your practice. Notice what's not serving you. Can you let that be so heavy that it sinks into the floor and away from yourself? Notice the thoughts that are making you anxious. Take a big breath in towards them. Breathe them outside of your body. Push, push, push away. Come back to your peace. Because finding your peace helps you listen to your intuition. Your intuition does keep you safe. It's biologically locked in you to do so. Trust yourself. Trust your intuition. Let everything else be so heavy that it leaves your body. Go ahead and press all the way up. Take your time exiting this pose. Move your front pops over first. I'm gonna draw your legs together in front of you and find that same squeeze here if you want to be here because a baby and it makes more room you can be. Then bring your knees side to side, place your hands behind you, drop over to the right and the left. Good. So good. And go ahead and lay down on your mat. We're going to find reverse um, 
actually not reverse, but waterfall or shoulder stand. So if you are pregnant and you know that waterfall won't behoove you super a lot, you can bring a bolster or a blanket behind you so your spine stays uplifted and just stay up here. And then you can kick your legs up against something like a prop or a shelf that's beside you. You can cross your ankles. You can use the wall and shimmy up close to that. If you can take waterfall in your body today, just bring something little like a blanket or a bolster underneath you and then drop all the way back and kick your legs up into the ceiling. Again, you can scooch up some new legs up a wall here so that your heels can rest on the wall. And you can also find it anywhere that feels good in your body. Anywhere on the floor or in your home that's making space for this pose. Then be here now for all the breaths. Let your body be gentle in this pose. And continue finding that heaviness again from your toes first into your heels, into your legs, into your hips. Let your torso find a different type of heavy into its new direction. Down into your mat. Close your eyes. Feel free to take little small movements with your feet and ankles if that feels good. With your wrists if you want to bring them into play. And your fingers. Take a full breath in. Ah, slide a breath out. Come to stillness. And then you take your right leg over your left drop over to the side for a twist. So if you're pregnant, you're going to roll all the way over and then open up by holding on to baby and come up to the side. So your gaze is going to be up, your elbow is going to be up to the ceiling. If you're not pregnant, you can break all the way open and come out to the side, taking a full twist. And come all the way back up to center. Find your Reverse, waterfall, kick your heels up, take a full breath in, and a full breath out, drag your left leg over and trace your whole body over to the side. And if you're pregnant, just come right here with your gaze up, finish twisting from the upper rib cage. If you're not pregnant, you can drag all the way open, reach for the wall behind you. Big breath in, sigh the breath out. Good. Come all the way back to center. Take a few more breaths in the reverse waterfall. Draw your knees into your chest. Find happy baby pose. So you can grab the outside edges of your feet or you can grab your toes here. What you don't want to do is lift your hips all the way up. You want to drop your hips all the way down. Just kick your heels towards your cushion. Good. And if it feels good, just sway. You can. It feels good to play like your monkeys with your kids in this pose. Great. Do everything you're choosing to do with your breath. And slowly grab the outside edges of your ankles or shins and then come into Bhattakasana Supine. So you're still taking the sway. This time your feet are sealed together. And then put your feet down, let your knees go wide. Sweep to Bhattakonasana. Place your hands right on top of baby, or your heart, or out to the side. You've got seven big breaths here before you have to move. Take them all, take your time. Knock your knees together, walk your feet as wide as your mat, and let your knees kind of droop down and away from your body. Finish this at the front of your hip. And bring your hands behind your head so that you're supported and your chest is open. Or you can bull push your arms here. Five more breaths. Three more. 
deep inhale. Deep exhale. Roll all the way over to your right side. Walk your feet in first. And then press all the way up. We're going to set up a reclined Shavasana today. So you can come up against the side of the sofa um, and do this if you don't have the props at home. We're essentially setting up the same posture. So if you do have the props at home, I want you to create a capital letter T with your blocks. And then find the bolster or the pillows that can prop you up. You can also do this up against um, the wall in bed or a headboard. Again, a sofa is a great space because you can prop up against it and just tilt your head back if you're sitting up on the ground next to it. If you do have props, go ahead and wedge your tailbone all the way back. Find Bob Kanasana on your feet again if that's comfortable, or you can take them all the way out in front of you. And then lean all the way up and back onto the bolster and let it catch your body weight and relax. What I want you to do is notice if your neck is really extended up into the ceiling and then draw length into the back of your neck. Put the occiput part of your head down onto the top of the bolster and then press your whole backbone into the pillow and relax. Close your eyes. It's time for Shavasana. So if you notice that you're holding on to anything else that's in your body and your mind here, take a full breath in, gather it. And then exhale, let it all the way out. This is the part of the practice where everything is still and everything is quiet on purpose. It's a posture. So encourage your kids just to lay flat on the ground if they're with you. If you are in the midst of breastfeeding, be propped up against something delicious so you can be comfortable and quiet. Last breath in as a group. Close your eyes, breathe it out. I'll let you know when to wake up. Slowly begin to wiggle your fingers and toes. If you're lying on the floor, just roll to one side. If you're sitting upright into a bolster position, press yourself all the way up. And face. 
one another if you're with others. For me, I think it's for game day. If you're pregnant, hold on to your little one. If you've got a baby in your arms, hold on to your little one. Take a full breath in. Let a breath out. Lift your hands up and pull them down to your heart. Give yourself permission to be messy and full of breath today. It's enough. Lift your thumbs to your third eye center. Namaste, mamas. See you next time.